West Australians are being warned to brace for some power bill pain. The Barnett government has admitted it's struggling to keep prices down. And on top of that, it's taking a close look at concessions for people who need help to pay their bills. Pensioner Leif Langsford and her husband Vic do everything they can to keep their power bills down. They use major appliances only at off-peak times and only use their air conditioner when it's essential. It's not as if, you know, um, we're totally uncomfortable. Sometimes it's nicer just to have the fan. But it may not be enough if there's big power price rises. Well, that adjustment would most probably be downsizing the house. Prices will go up in the May budget. The Treasurer says the government's struggling to keep them at the inflation rate of 2.5%. I recognise people don't like to pay uh, anything more for anything, including essential services, uh, but we have to live within our means. That's despite this election commitment made in March last year. People can look forward to electricity prices increasing just at around the rate of inflation. Somebody was going to have to pay for Colin Barnett's mismanagement. The government's also looking to review concessions for people who need help paying bills. Currently there's the $200 cost of living payment, the hardship utilities grant, the cost of living rebate, air conditioning rebate, dependent child rebate and one for those who suffer heat related conditions. The aim is to cut back on the volume of concessions but to make them better targeted and simpler. Wacos says a much better concession would be to place a 15% discount on the power prices for low-income families. It says that would apply to between 280 and 300,000 West Australians. It could possibly be a replacement for some of the other concessions. As the budget government rather prepares the budget, it's not only struggling with power prices, it's also battling wage negotiations. Josh Erger joins us live and Josh, there's already been a backlash. Yes, Tim, we nearly had a major disruption to our train network today as train controllers and other staff threaten to walk off the job. They want to pay rise but are only being offered something that's in line with inflation due to the government's hardline wages policy. Now, only a few staff attended the stop work meeting, so there was really no big impact. But it may be a different story with police who have threatened massive industrial action if they're offered the same 2.5% increase. But the Treasurer says there's simply no money in the budget for anything bigger and police are already the highest paid in the country. Tim.